Thanks, Itan, and uh, thanks everybody for attending the, the event today. And um, I, I, certainly from my perspective, I hope you find it really interesting because I think the topics that we're discussing here are really important. Um, from our perspective, as an HR industry analyst, particularly in Europe, um, there are a lot of issues that uh, potentially organizations are, are, are trying to deal with here. So, I mean, first of all, workforce and organizational agility is a critical issue for all businesses um, and was even before the pandemic. And those that's been significantly magnified by, by the dynamics around the pandemic and the needs to realign workforces, to reskill and upskill, um, and to, to kind of really transform the way that we, we do things. Um, and interestingly enough that you know that question around skilling and and talent and so on it was has been a critical issue for the majority of CEOs and the C suite for for actually quite a long time. Um, there's quite a lot of research that talks about the fact that um, that that the the uh, talks about the inability to hire skills, particularly skills with a capital S, you know, skilled people. And um, again, COVID has really accentuated that problem in lots of organizations as they transition to be more digital and more agile. Um, the skills that were most in demand before that organizations couldn't really uh, recruit um, or um, were, were, are increasingly you know, even more in demand and, and, and harder to get hold of as everybody wants them. So, I mean, when you think about that from a talent perspective, from whether it's around talent acquisition or the wider talent and human capital processes in organizations, um, there are some really critical problems in, in, within this. I mean, the talent acquisition in most organizations, again, from our research, has, has typically been fairly broken and out of date. A lot of the technology platforms that they've been using are sometimes um, old or, or kind of legacy platforms. They've got real issues about how they join that into their um, HR systems as they try and rationalize and update, move everything to the cloud and so on. Um, within talent acquisition specifically, there's been massive innovation um, in the market. Um, lots of new solutions, lots of focus around new technologies like AI and blockchain and, and other things as well. Um, and the processes and systems in most organizations have kind of been out of date. Um, and really need to be realigned um, to the, the kind of new norms and the new, new needs. Um, inherently, talent acquisition is an ecosystem issue. Anyway, it's not really about a single system. And that creates massive challenges. You know, when you're connecting across the value chain in recruiting, you know, from identifying and maybe marketing and get, uh, to, to potential candidates, um, to engaging with them, managing applications, screening, assessing, interviewing, and all the different component parts. There's lots of, there's lots of pieces to the jigsaw here. And it's really difficult to sometimes connect those together well this certainly isn't about a single system of record and, and, and that creates huge challenges. In, inherently, it's also very externally focused. It's inherently networked. It's inherently about not where, you know, the candidates don't work for you. You don't necessarily understand what that data is. So trust is a really central issue across all aspects of the recruiting and talent processes. And, um, you know, are people who they say they are, they are, do they hold the qualifications they say they're going to do? And, and how do you manage that from a credentials perspective? Um, and that's, so that's a critical issue for all employers. Uh, it's also a critical issue for employees and candidates as well. I mean, they want to know that their, their data is not being misused by organizations. Um, they increasingly are concerned around confidentiality and around disclosure and who gets to see that stuff. And, and that's only going to increase more in the future. So within all of this, I think, you know, thinking about how you manage credentialing, how you manage trust and how you can do that in an, an objectively verifiable way is really, really critical for both com companies and also for the employees. And the more regulated your industry, and obviously the banking as an example is highly regulated, these needs are further accentuated become they, because they could become about not just is somebody a good fit for us, but actually are we legally allowed to employ them in the role that we're able to do? And are they able to perform the roles and jobs they want to? Um, both, both in terms of uh, from a recruitment point of view, but also then post recruitment and in terms of the roles they have subsequently. 
um, validating that kind of stuff is really important. Um, the, the vendors get this, right? So this is, as I said, there's massive innovation in the market. Uh, from a supply side, looking at the the, the 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 HR technology market, you know, a lot of the vendors vendors are starting to look at how they engage with that um, and invest in tools to help manage that within their suites or to engage with it. Um, and that's obviously where things like the Velocity Network Foundation come in um, in terms of providing maybe some you know tooling and a strategy for being able to address that in a way that is inherently an ecosystem strategy. And that's really critical. You know, this is not about, as I said, it's not a, uh, an internal HR system issue. It's a much wider set of things. It's inherently externally focused and external and, and networked. It's also about, not just about how you engage with it in the short term, it's how you engage with it the long term as well. Uh, whether that's with the um, and the suites and the specialist disruptor tools you want to engage with to transform and really kind of accelerate your capability, all of these things need to be able to understand and engaging it. Um, so in summary, if you're trying to reinvent your HR and talent processes um, and make them fit for the modern modern world post you know post COVID, especially you need to rethink and re innovate much faster. You need to think about how that works at an ecosystem level, and you need to think ultimately around how you can build trust in that data that's underneath it. Credentialing is at the heart of that problem and will be increasingly so in the future. It's inherently a networked issue, and it's um, it will never be controllable by just one system of record, right? It has to ultimately, or one system within a company, it has to be a per inherently externally focused externally connected and demonstrably verifiable. The more regulated the business, the more value that exists in making that happen.